Hey guys, now I'm going to show you guys how I draw an anime angry face. So, first I'm going to draw a straight line for where the center of the head is going to be. Then a line for where the bottom of the head is going to be. And then I will draw the chin. For the chin it's very easy, it's just two lines which make a pointy chin and uh, let me zoom in a little bit and then you will you should uh, there are different ways to draw the chin and I like to draw the chin like uh, four lines one two three four and I think it looks really good a lot of anime uh, animes use this kind of chin so I will just use it too then I'm going to draw a line for where the eyes is going to be. Normally the eyes will be higher, but this time he's angry and I've, I would draw him uh, his head a little bit tilted a little a little bit tilted downwards. So his eyes is going to be lower than where it usually usually is. So his eyes is going to be here. And also, his eyes should be um, tilted a little bit downwards in the center. That is also because he is mad. Uh, people with angry eyes, their eyes will be a little bit tilted upwards on the outside and downwards in the center. Just like this. Then I'm going to draw it. Just copy it and draw it on the left side. This is good. And then the nose. There are tons of ways to draw the nose. And in this video I'm just going to draw the nose like this. Uh, two dots for the nostrils and a line for the center of the nose. And then the mouth. Some people prefer it to have uh, prefer to have a more realistic mouth. Um, and now I just draw a really long line, and it's not that realistic, but you know it's anime, so it's okay. You can have your style, but. I have just draw it like this and for the for the ears it's just gonna be like that but actually I'm sorry guys it's a little bit wrong because as I have said the head is a little bit tilted downwards so the ears should actually move a little bit higher because even though the head is tilted downwards the ears will stay in the same place so the ears should be here then don't forget the eyebrows but before the eyebrows I'm going to I'm going to zoom in a little bit more okay so before you draw the eyebrows uh, I want to draw the fold of the eyes the eyelid some people draw it some people don't draw it but I will just draw it and then I will draw the eyebrows remember the eyebrows is um, closer to the center than the eye itself because well it's just like that but because he's angry his eyeball should be more closer to the center than it usually is and also because he's angry his eyeball is going to be uh, tilted like like how I'm drawing it and also please remember that the eyebrow have thickness don't draw it like a, just just a line. You can draw it like just a line, but it's a little bit strange if you do that. But also, don't try to draw it too thick, and it will look like he has. Uh, it will look like a fake eyebrow. This one is good. He's not that angry now. 
still angry. And something like this will make him more angry looking. Then the neck, the neck is going to be uh, smaller than the real life neck of course because it's anime. Then uh, the shoulder is going to be higher than normal. That is because uh, his head is tilted downwards so the perspective is from, uh, from the top to the bottom and that's why the shoulder is going to appear a little bit higher than what it usually should be then just the shirt yeah it doesn't have to be exactly like that i'll just give him a really normal shirt then now i'm going to draw the hair of the character so when you're drawing the hair Please remember that um, it's best if you draw the lines in one stroke because if you draw it in more strokes um, it will not look straight and it will uh, the lines will will not have a natural flow and it will not look, look natural and hair needs to be natural to look good so as you can see, I draw the lines really fast and in one stroke, so that it will look natural. And I will decide on the top of the head. So uh, the middle of the head should be where the eyes is, but the eyes is a little bit lower than usual. Eyes is actually here, and the bottom of the face, so the top of the face should be around here. And of course, the hair is not going to be on the top of the face. The hair is, you know, hair have thickness, so you need to, you can't draw the hair right on top of the face because then it looks like your hair is sticking to the face and, you know, it's, it's just wrong. Give him a hair behind his head. Um, it it does not have to have the hair behind his head, but uh, it it it's up to if your head uh, if your character have long hair or short hair. If your character have short hair, then the hair is not going to appear here. I think I just remove it because I don't want the character to have that long hairs. So just like that. And there is also please don't forget to add the lines for the insides of the air. And also the insides of the air you don't have to care what the lines really look like because nobody really know how the lines looks like. So if people don't know how it look like then people can judge you and so whatever you draw there you just have to look natural and then it's good. And okay now I'm going to zoom in. The last part of this drawing, okay I'm sorry guys. There, the last part of this drawing is the iris. So for the iris, there are many different ways to draw it. And my way is to first draw the pupil, which is completely black. Then the highlight on one corner of the eye. And then completely blacken the sides of the... Uh, blacken, next, uh, blacken the area next to the highlight and then smooth it out. And same goes with hair. First the pupil, then the highlight, then blacken it and then smooth it out. Well, for you it might look like I just blacken everything out because it's a bad pencil, but it should be, 
it should be uh, what I have just said you should not blacken the whole iris out now what I'm doing is to e just e erase the um, sketch lines I've drawn in the beginning of the video because they should not be included in the drawing but you know this drawing this drawing is kind of I just draw it I just drew it really fast so uh, it does not really matter to me if it have some wrong lines because if I really were to spend a lot of time on this drawing then I would have erased those lines long before I draw the details but anyway now this looks good and you might think we are done but we are actually not done because there are still two steps we have to do the first one is inking which basically means to draw, redraw the lines which are harder and stronger clearer stroke and the other part is to is to um, color it yes uh, color and shadowing and I will go through that process with you and now I think I will just do a time lapse on and now we are done okay guys if you think it looked good please leave a like and if you want to see more please subscribe to our channel